All right, Virgo, this is your reading for February of 2023. I again apologize for the airplanes, but they are flying all over the place today. All right, so we're going to start with our Goddess Seas Tarot and see what's going on um, for your reading for February of 2023, Virgo. We are no reading, no reversals. Everything is upright, and we are reading intuitively. All right, so let's go ahead and get um, in. Let's see, February 2023. February 2023, February 2023, Virgo, February 2023, yeah, they don't take, I like these, cook my, yeah, I like these, the M, oh, wow, 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 okay, 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 Virgo, interesting, mm. we have the Empress, and we have the Emperor, either way you want to do it, Emperor, Empress, either way, it doesn't matter. And we have the Hanged Man. Interesting how this comes out, Virgo. All right. Emperor and Empress, when you get both those cards out for me, that is telling me, Virgo, that you are balancing your energies. Okay, and I love when that comes out because I feel like this year was all about balance, trying to bounce back from everything that has been going on. Okay, I look at it that way, and I feel that for you, Virgo, you were in the hanged man energy for a while. You have been in the hangman energy. Now, uh, however, the hangman energy, it might resonate with some of you, Virgo. If this does reading does not resonate, you check your other signs. But for I'm seeing for Virgos, some of them, I'm seeing that you were in the hangman energy, and it's not like it's saying, you know, it's just. It's a state of being and you can't get out of. However, the hangman energy was working for you. Um, it could be that you feel like you just was trying to do things and things were just staying there, like not just not going anywhere. No matter how much gas, metaphorical, that you put to the pedal, it just was spinning tires stuck in mud. But I feel like that shift that has finally come in Virgo right about now. Maybe starting the end of January, but, but definitely, you know, it might not be that complete, you know, but I do feel like you're getting the gears running, okay? Because I see that light from the hangman energy, and I see it right here with the Empress and the Emperor energy that is that is finally coming to, okay? And with that, you're getting out of that, you know, however it were, and balancing, okay? That Emperor Ennis energy, the masculine and feminine energy, okay? However way, and you're feeling like you're just getting out of that stagnant energy, okay? That's what I feel for you, Virgo. So let's keep going, and now we're going to use the Heart um, Psychic Oracle deck. So it has to say about Virgo for February of 2023. So we're knowing that you're balancing yourself again. You're getting out of that stagnant energy, okay? Disdain. Um, just, you know, however it was, no matter of whatever it could be that you just was just stagnant. Not necessarily be you. It could just be that whatever things you felt like you were trying to do just weren't going anywhere, okay? All right, we have giving and receiving. See? Giving and receiving. Balance. I give, you receive. Reach out. Exactly. Detach. Detach was that hangman energy. Reach out. Giving and receiving. When you reach out, it's all about that giving and receiving. Balancing. Reaching out. Giving and receiving. Detach. Okay, this is showing where you were. This is showing where you're at now with the giving and the taking and the reaching out. Giving and receiving. Okay? I'm going to get one more because I do like the fact that I want balance. <laughs> oh. Okay. Success and growth. See? Giving, receiving, success, and growth. That's why I was telling you. Look how the card, the Empress card is portrayed, that her stomach is 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 full. Success and growth. Okay? Giving and receiving. All that's balance. That the energy that you in with the attached energy. That stagnant energy, but you got out of that. And that's why you have that dove right here that you're coming out of that. You're flying out of that. You're reaching out for that help that you needed or whatever, how it is, the giving and the receiving. All right, Virgo. All right, now let's go with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. That's what they have to say for Virgo of February of 2023. All right. 
from foundation. Exactly, from foundations. You have to have, if you look right here with the triangle, with the back, and the peak, and, okay, the peak. That is getting all this in line. That balance. Okay, that A, what is it? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That. Okay. That base times height. All those algebra fanatics out there that I was like, why couldn't I have been the one that knew that stuff? Look, fulfillment of wishes. Exactly. Fulfillment of wishes. Giving, receiving, reaching out, balance. Fulfillment of wishes. Okay. Success and growth. Balancing yourself, getting out of that old negative, that stagnant energy. Get one more. Well, get two more. Fine. Harmony. Exactly. Harmony. Balance. Oh. Hope. Exactly. Throat chakra. Speaking. Balance your truth. Speaking the truth, letting it out, balancing yourself, to expressing yourself. All right, now let's move to the, um, these are my Sword of Light Oracle deck, the messages from Archangel Michael. All right. Be honest with yourself. Exactly. Be honest with yourself. If you needed help, whatever it is, because it says all your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let source and let source take it from there. Exactly. That balance. Be honest with yourself. This is where you were. You can say, hey, I know I was just I was in that energy. If you just like, if you were personally, mentally, hired it was, or the things that you were trying to do just weren't going anywhere, it's finally coming out. You will manifest what you need. Like I said, the give and the take. Right here, what did we say? Giving and receiving. You will manifest what you need. Growth, hope, harmony. Get your power back. That's what you're doing. See this hope right here, how everything look, how everything is hands, 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 showing growth. Exactly. You're getting your power back. Have you forgotten who you are? You are a child of the divine, so take your power back. You're getting out of that old stagnant energy. All right. Oh, something in my eye. Sorry, Leo. It really, not Leo, Virgo. It really hurts. Oh, Okay. All right, Virgo. Now let's go with your Sacred Force Oracle deck. Let's see what they have to say about Virgo for February 2023. Mandarin Pathway Flow. Like I said, then it flow. Flow easy. Flow free. Balance. Whoa. That's too many cards. That's too many cards, too. Oh, my goodness. Healing. Here we go. Bear spirit. Healing. Like I said, getting your power back. Knowledge. Air spirit. Growth. Purity. Unicorn. Purifying yourself, balancing yourself. We see all these hands and things in the glowing. Okay. All right. Now let's go with the unicorn. Mess from the unicorn for Leo. No, I don't know why I keep saying Leo. Good gracious. Virgo. I just finished Leo's reading, so I'm so sorry. Virgo, February 2023. Mess from the unicorns. Let's see what they have to say for you today. Thank you. Nature, grow, ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the elements. Like I was saying, nature, go outside, get that breath of fresh air, 
balancing yourself. That's a great way to do it. If things are getting too much, go outside and take a group, deep cleansing breath sometimes. I know you're like, hey, my situations require more than a deep cleansing breath. Well, sometimes a deep cleansing breath can really work multitudes. All right. Here we go. Abundance, like we were saying right here with the giving and taking and growth. Enjoy the beauty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. That's just reconfirming everything we told you earlier. My dear Virgo, February 2023. Oh, wow. Here we go. Flow. Wait, did we get flow earlier? I could have sworn we did. Wait a minute. I could have sworn we had flow. Let me see, because now I have to find it. Was that with y'all or was that another reach out? No, that was hope. Okay, well, in the firm foundation, I thought we had saw flow in here. Maybe flow just popped in front of my head, but we have, no, we did, we did have flow. I, I knew I saw flow, see? This is confirming. You're letting things be. You're letting it be just getting out of that stagnancy. Okay? You're balancing yourself now. You're letting things just flow and go. All right. Now we have the messages from your higher self. All right. The time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. Flow. That's what you're doing. You're balancing yourself now because the time is right for what you were doing. Oh, no. That is just way too many. So what I'm telling you, Virgo, is this, that with that emperor and empress energy, okay, you have come into harmony, like we said, with yourself. And these are cards that just flowing. You're flowing with yourself. All this is just telling you balance, okay? Harmony. When, you, when you're singing in harmony and you, you got to balance your voices. Flow, when you're doing that, you got to make your everything flow together. Because when you're singing and if your voices don't sound right, it's not going to what? Flow together. Okay? So that's what it's saying. Like with that hangman energy, when things just weren't quite, eh, you know? But when you finally got into February energy, I feel like it's balancing out. Okay? too many okay a difficult path is being revealed ask for help that we are all and ask for help and learn that we are all connected and we had here the call where it said reach out hands so i'm telling you let's be confirming if you feel like you do need help, then reach out. It's fine. A difficult path is being revealed. Ask for help and learn that we are all connected. Okay? This was you. Follow your vision. Never lose sight of what's really important. Okay? That's what it was saying. That firm foundation. Knowledge. No, yeah, knowledge. That's your vision. When you have a vision for something that's a knowledge and everything that you have worked for for yourself. Okay, Virgo? That's what it's telling you. All right? Now we're coming to the end of your reading, my dear Virgo. So February 2023. And we're going to finish out your reading with these affirmators. And let's see what, you know, what can we get for the affirmators for Virgo, February 2023. All right. from this direction get the bend out okay there we go no 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 okay
spontaneity. Got that in the Leo reading. This was saying, do you like spontaneous adventure of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer is to question is yes, so buckle up. You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional, and underrated. You are about to learn that yes is a magic word with the power to unlock new dimensions, space, and time. Okay? What this is saying, like I was saying, that spontaneity, that reaching out, that balancing. Okay? Getting out of that state and just going for it. Being spontaneous. Just saying, you know what? I've got to follow my vision, get my power back, and I'm just going for it. That spontaneity. All right, Virgo. Ideal partnership. Okay. I am a rare and precious find, and my brilliance will be reflected back to me when I am paired with a true match. My ideal partnerships and working relationships, oh, I'm sorry, working relationships are easy and free flowing. I deserve greatness because I am greatness. And to paraphrase, Remember, what am I looking for is looking for me. In fact, he or she might be paraphrasing Rumi right now. Oh, let's be talking about. Oh, just cheese and wine. Okay, I get it. Partnership. Balance. See, the emperor and the empress partnership, the ideal partnership, that balance. Because cheese and wine, you get it? Okay, that's just reconfirming what I said in the beginning. Balance. Cheese and wine. All right, generosity. I give generously to those around me, no matter how much or how little I have. I know there is more than enough to go around, and that's the key to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, we had that word flow, flow again. I'm like the one person in the stadium who doesn't do the way. When we were saying what we what we say, giving and receiving, reaching out, getting your power back. Okay, generosity, all the same thing. My dear. Virgo, I'm going to give one more card for you because, well, I can't. I'm not here. Is that one card or two? That is two cards. Fine. No judgment. I release myself from any of all judgments and I, I find my inner critic. Call it into my office and tell it take a vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the joy of simple being who hired that guy anyway. And this is what it's saying. That you got out of that stagnant, no judgment energy, and you have balanced yourself again. Patience. Congratulations. You've been granted more patience. You start using it right away or much, a little much later. Waiting a long time is sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. Okay? That's saying that you have grown. And that's what that empress card is about the growing. See the swelling of the belly, the growing, the giving and the receiving, my dear Virgos. So this is giving and receiving. Your balance. Your emperor, your empress, you're balancing yourself. I know you always hear me say, my balance, 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 balance. Yeah, yeah. So this is, there's no other way for me to explain this. When you had the emperor and the empress, Virgo. Okay, this is where you were, and this is where you're at now. And everything that I'm pulling out for you is showing balance. Okay, the scales, the following things are going and they're being balanced. Okay, all right, my dear Virgos. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, for February of 2023. Um, if you like to give me a thumbs up, you can in the little box at the bottom, or you can subscribe subscribe to my channel. All right. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. If it did not resonate with you, my dear Virgos, please check your other placements and signs. With that being said, I got to go. Here's another plane flying over, so I got to stop. <laughs> but you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.